A fracture of the medial femoral condyle is not a very common injury, at least among adults. It's more common among children. In this Ask the Doctor video, I explain what it is, when it needs surgery, and what the recovery from that surgery entails. My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of injury. This video is part of my Ask the Doctor video series based on questions you've left me in the comments to the videos on my YouTube channel. And just to be clear, this is not medical advice in this video or any of my videos on social media or my uh, any videos on my website. This is meant for information and educational purposes only. Now the viewer asks, I have a minimally displaced fracture of the medial femoral condyle. Is it a major surgery? How many days will it take to recover? When can I put weight on my leg? And when could I go to work? Again, this is not medical advice. This is just information that anyone with that potential injury can use. Now, the medial femoral condyle, the femoral condyles are the ends of the femur, the thigh bone in the knee, femoral condyles, tibial plateau. The medial one is on the side closest to the midline of your body. So it's typically sort of broken in a shear pattern, sort of like that. Again, much more common in kids than in adults. It's not a real common injury and it typically takes a fairly traumatic force. Um, kids get it because a lot of times the, the bones are weaker than the tendons and ligaments. In adults, you typically would get more of an MCL type injury where the bone is stronger than the ligaments. But what matters is that medial femoral condyle has to line up perfectly. If there's a step off, if it heals sort of shifted off, then there's going to be a step off of the articular cartilage, basically a rough spot. And with gradual range of motion, it's going to wear out the cartilage in the knee and you're going to lead to arthritis. So it has to line up perfectly, hence surgery to line it up. And that surgery is almost always a plate and screw configuration to line it back up and hold it in that place. Now, how long it takes to recover? I've answered this in another video. It just depends on a number of factors, the fixation and, and how that goes, when you can, you know, how long it takes to, to heal. And that process can be three to four months before that bone is fully healed. And typically the orthopedic surgeon is going to limit weight bearing for most of that period of time six, eight, maybe even 12 weeks, and only allow even partial weight bearing toward the end of that process. You don't want to do anything where the weight bearing actually displaces the fracture, keeps it from healing, and potentially leads to another surgery. So the how long it takes to heal, long process, but typically something that will heal three to four months time. When you can put weight on it is toward the end of that period of time. Again, everybody's a little bit different. And then when you can go to work, it really depends on what you do at work. Do you need to be able to drive all of that kind of thing? Typically, you can do desk work almost immediately. <clears throat> if you have to be on your feet, obviously it becomes a lot tougher <clears throat> because especially very early on, you're likely going to be limited to crutches or a walker or something like that. Now, if you have an orthopedic injury and you want to hear about options other than surgery or other than cortisone shots, you can click the link in the description below this video and fill out the contact form to learn more about potentially seeing me formally as a patient. If you have an orthopedic injury, I'd love to hear your experience with that injury. So you can leave those in the comments below this video. Just understand if you leave a question in the comments, I can't give you medical advice, but I can answer that question potentially in a future video like I'm doing here. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look and perform better than ever.